How do we create a future in which both human and nature can thrive? This is the biggest question of our times. In the next few decades, we need to take dramatic action, achieve a sustainable existence on earth. But how do we do it? We can start by understanding how we got to this point. 20,000 years ago, we learned how to tame the wild, get more from the environment. Our population grew as did our demands. Every time a new problem arose, we solved it, altering Earth's entire surface in the process. And now we have changed the world so dramatically, scientists have decided that Earth has entered a new phase of its existence. Welcome to the Anthropocene, the age of humans. The world has turned. We now determine nature's survival. The planet is now ours. There is just one problem. We are now totally out of balance with nature. And unless we get our balance back, this age of humans will due to be short-lived. So how do we deal with this problem? There is one underlying big issue. Our problem is that the planet is becoming less wild. We have cleared so many trees, cultivated half of its fertile lands and now fishes across most of the ocean. In the last few years, the population of the wild animals have reduced by 60%. We have replaced them with ourselves and our domesticated animals and plants. Today, we and the animals we raise account for 96% of the mass of mammals and 70% of the birds on earth. There is very little wild left. This biodiversity loss is not just sad, it's the single biggest problem we face. Without nature, the world as we know it won't work. Our planet needs its wild spaces. Everyone has a different work in the global machine. Only if they are all healthy can the planet run smoothly. A less wild world is less able to provide for our needs, less able to maintain our weather and seasons, less able to absorb our impacts. The natural world equals stability and stability is what we need most of all. Can we turn the situation around? Can we revile the world? Well, maybe, due to one key change. As societies develop, something is happening that has never happened before. People are having fewer children. Globally, since the year 2000, the number of people under 16 years old has hardly changed. The main reason is, our population is growing is because people are living longer. If this continues, our population may finally stop growing by the turn of the century. This changes everything. It gives us the opportunity we need to regain our balance. The plan to save our natural world is remarkably simple. For the biggest gains 
we could concentrate our efforts on four main goals. Facing out fossil fuels and replacing them with renewables. This not only slows the warming of the planet and acidification of the oceans, but it will lead to clean air for all of us. Moving to efficient food productions, we require far less space to provide for all of us. Leaving more grasslands, reducing deforestations, and our demand for fresh water, and feeding more people with healthier, more affordable food. Hand in hand to properly manage our oceans. A global network of no fish zones and a treaty on the use of international waters would resolve the health of the ocean so it actually produces more fish for all of us to eat. Working hard to keep hold of the world's population we still have. Encouraging nature wherever we can. In the oceans, on land where we don't need and even in our cities. If we make these changes, we will be a long way to becoming a species in balance with nature once again. The nature's power of regeneration is fascinating if we give it a chance. A world able to provide for all our needs. Only at that point will the Anthropocene, the age of humans, be truly on the way. At that point, we will be proud to call it our planet. How do we create a future in which both people and nature can thrive? We open our eyes to this moment in history. Think like we have never think before. Embrace the challenge we face and do something we are very good at, change the world.